Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hello guys, welcome to another update to my project pan. If you have not watched the original or all the other updates that I do every month, I have eight body mists for perfumes that I work through. I show you progress. I uh, replace the ones I use up with new ones to get through my collection. And you guys, my mom recently visited and brought me a couple sprays and lotions um, from back home. So I have a couple more added into my collection. Um, but I don't think we're gonna do this project pan for more than a couple more months because I might go through all my body mists. We don't know. We'll see. Um, because October is coming up, uh, we are going to try to use up some more fall and Halloween ones. Uh, so I'm excited to add those in. But first, let me show you. We'll start with body mist, then we'll go to perfumes um, and look at uh, from most used up to still working on. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, and stay here. We review Bath & Body Works products. We review uh, Victoria's Secret products, uh, body mists. We talk about hygiene, um, all that fun stuff. Anyway, let's move on. So the first one that I used up is Almond Blossom and Oat Milk. Uh, this was a repurchase. I used to own this and I repurchased it because I like it so much. It's kind of like a perfumey oatmeal cookie. And I, I was up here when I started and I finished the whole thing. I wore it to work, I wore it like every day. I'm kind of over the scent now that I've had it twice already and used up two whole bottles. Um, but I really like the scent. This is probably one of my favorite from the Comfort Collection. I also like the, is it like the pomegranate something one? That one's really good, but we finished that baby up. Also finished um, Cake Confetti, one of the best sugary vanilla sweet scents. This is Vanilla Cream, Marshmallow Spring slice of heaven. I kept holding on to this because I love this vanilla, but since then I found like the Pacifica Island vanilla that I really, really enjoy. That's like a hair and body mist. So I'm not that um, concerned about losing this, but still, it was a good one. Um, I used it all up. It's gone. I probably won't rebuy it. It's so expensive to buy resale um, when someone's selling it, so I'm probably not going to repurchase it because there's other vanillas, and to be honest, to other people, all vanillas probably smell very similar. Next one, you guys, that I'm actually kind of excited about this is, oh my gosh, Iced Lemon Pound Cake. The writing rubbed off. That's crazy. I keep it in my apron. I'm a waitress, so I, like, I'll keep it in my apron, spray it whenever I want, and um, some of it rubbed off. That's crazy. So this is Sugary Glazed Icing Pure Lemon Zest Fluffy Pound Cake. I did not like this when it first came out that much, and then I fell in love with it. Um, I still have the lotion that I'm using, or like the body cream, but yeah, I actually ended up really, really enjoying this. I wouldn't necessarily repurchase it, but I really liked it. That's all my progress from the updates, and I went from here all the way down and used this baby up. This was a great one. The fourth one that I used up is Fresh Coconut and Cotton. This is Coconut Coastal Breeze Beachside Cotton. I purchased this recently. It's such like a fresh cotton scent, but it has like, I'm not really into um, a lot of coconut, but this and the next one are probably like my favorite coconut scents that they've come out with. Um, I do like this one. It's a very refreshing, clean coconut. Again, wouldn't repurchase necessarily, but I really enjoyed using it. And then I also used up Waikiki Beach Coconut, um, which that's my progress line. And then I finished it all up. This was Tropical White Coconut, Saltwater Breezes, Sun Bleached Woods. Favorite coconut scent that they have. It's such a fruity, tropical, beachy coconut. I absolutely adored it. Used the entire thing up. Um, so that leaves me with five body mists that I have used up. So I will be adding five, but let's talk about the other three that I have left over. One of them is in my apron, which I don't have here um, because I use it at work, but I will show you a picture um, for progress. Uh, it's Electric Beach, my favorite, I swear. This gets me so many compliments. I love smelling it. I'm getting to the point where I'm using up like my all-time favorites. Electric Beach is probably like number two in my favorite scents from Victoria's Secret of all time, like ever. Um, and it's, it's kind of hurts me to be using it up, but I've been enjoying it so much and I've been making decent progress on that. So I'm going to continue making progress on it. Then I have Tropic Splash, which is Juicy Citrus, Mango Punch, Neon Burst. Um, I was all the way up here and I used up this much. So just a little bit. I mostly use this for the gym. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to keep using it. Such a pretty like citrusy scent. It's perfect for the gym and just very refreshing. And then I have Wrapped in Vanilla, uh, which is soft vanilla, velvet sugar, chantilly creme, um, which I didn't use at all. So I'm still all the way up top. So this is one 
that I didn't get to at all, but um, it's going to be nice to have like a nice vanilla gourmand to go into the fall season, even though it's still really warm here. So I'm going to continue using that, and that means that I get to add five body mists in. So let me show you what I'm going to be adding in. The first one is going to be Berry Santal. This was last year's fall collection, I think. It's Juicy Black Currant, Soft Sandalwood Wrapped Richness. We are up here, so we're going to try to use it up. It's just a really, really juicy blackberry scent. Um, or sorry, black currant scent. Black currant is one of my favorite scents of all time. I grew up drinking black currant juice, so um, I'm really excited to use this now in the fall. The next one I'm adding in um, is Vampire Blood. This is Red Berries Night Blooming Jasmine Petrifying Plum. Of course, I have to add this in. Halloween is coming. It's a juicy, fruity, vampire scent, so I cannot wait to get use out of that. I'm adding in Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This is Maple Syrup, Golden Waffles, Pumpkin Spice, Brown Sugar. Such a delicious scent. Um, this is probably going to take me a while to use up because it's so like rich, um, but I'm going to try um, because it's so fall and so cute um, and delicious. And this is Crisp Morning Air, one of my favorite apple scents of all time. I'm all the way up here. This is Crisp Fall Breeze, Golden Amberwood Juicy Apple. Literally just like a crisp, fresh air apple scent. I love apple scents. I don't know what it is about apple, but it's so sweet and fresh. It's like one of my favorite scents added into notes. Usually just an apple scent isn't really my cup of tea, but that one, I really like it. And last but not least, I'm adding one that's not very fall-like, um, but my mom brought it for me and I miss this scent so much. This is Ice Pear Margarita. I don't have that much left of it. I'm hoping they come back with this because this is one of my favorite like summer scents ever. It... Oh my gosh, there's also this one that was like Cool Melon Kiwi or something that was so delicious, like juicy, zesty scent. So um, I wanted to add this in to still use it while it's warm um, because I really like that scent. All right, so that is it from what we are adding in. Um, perfumes wise, I did finish one of them. I finished my Black Opium Nuit Blanche. I think that's what it's called. Um, I liked this scent. I think I'm over Black Opium for quite some time, to be honest, um, just because I have been using it. Um, the other perfumes, to be honest, I did not make much progress in. I did a little bit with this one. Um, let me mark this. So this is the little progress that I've made. I make progress little by little with this. Versace uh, Eros Pour Femme is one of my favorite um, scents. Uh, if you like fruity scents like me, you might really enjoy that. Um, the ones that I didn't make any progress in is the Sabrina Carpenter one and um, this guy from, you know, the, uh, what is this, this toy too. Um, I didn't make any progress because with perfumes, I usually stick to one at a time. Um, so I haven't used it, but because I used up one, I will be adding one perfume in. This is the De Merveilles Blue. Um, if you guys recognize this, um, let me know. This is a very unisex scent. I'm starting right there. It kind of smells like aftershave to me. It's one of my favorite, like, boy smells, to be honest. Um, I just want to spray, like a man to smell like this, you know? Um, but I like putting it on like sweatshirts, so like in the fall time if I'm wearing like a hoodie, I'll spray this on the inside just so I can feel like I'm, I don't know, wearing a guy's hoodie. I don't know, it's, it's just delicious. I love this scent so much, so I added it in. This is one that I really, really love. All right, you guys, that is my update. I will see you next month with my next one. Let me know how I did, what you've been using up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.